Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Kriva and welcome back to the Endless Space. It's not the Endless Space, it's just Endless Space. Anyway, still playing as our take on the Federation. We have expanded quite far away to um, Automaton territory and Amoeba territory. Just a little bit of Amoeba usually are quite um, happy with others. So they shouldn't do anything weird or stupid. But yeah, we have three planets over here now. Might, yeah, as a Terbia, it's just a tiny tundra, so it doesn't get that much. It's not that interesting a place, but oh well. But we are severely expanding. We are building our biggest ships possible. Should finish one next turn, actually. The Yoda, which which we called. I don't even remember what we called it. And I also finally remembered the name of that big ship in uh, the other one. Yeah, oh yeah, the Intrepid. But I finally remembered it, and it's the Dreadnought class. So I think we're going to actually build a second uh, Yoda class, call it the Dreadnought, and just load it up with weapons, weapons, weapons! And some defense, because that's still something you need. Um, so we finished that ship in Telar and in Rigel as well. Jesus, so many. Um, yeah, I think we can definitely do the expansion thing here first. But let's just look at another ship. So this will be a Yoda class. It will be a Dread... Oh, we don't need to do it all in capitals. A Dreadnought, I believe, is with AU, not with OU. Weapon, melee, and medium range, of course. Mm, we have 500 tonnage. That, of course, needs bigger tonnage. What we need here is power. We definitely need power. More damage on everything. We don't need bombs. We don't need siege. We need armor. We don't need engine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something... Uh, is co coagulating in the back of my throat right now. <clears throat> anyway, we have 186 left. We have only special modules. Tonnage is, is decreased, so... What does it do? You know what? I need point defense, at least. So, on ship's defense. Okay, so depending on what defense modules you put in here... Okay... So, we definitely, again, melee, so... Definitely 10 at least. Medium beams, also 10 at least. Long-range missiles are quite expensive in terms of space, though. You know what, let's make them melee rockets. And let's... Yeah, we still, for the sake of RP, don't want any regular guns, but if we have melee rockets, they're strong too. And uh, now we need some flak, of course. Ten of them, and then some shield. One, two, three, four, five. That fits. It's not the best shielding, of course. Then again, we have armor. What does it do? Um, gives it 3,000 more hit points. Wow. So yeah, if we don't have that, that's a bit silly. I think then, though, that the 100 for this module, for the support module, is actually not that, of, that a, well. No, it takes two... What? Seriously? Wow. That's a difference. Damage max on your own weapons actually goes up way more on the third one. So I actually would like this one more. But then again, we don't have that many weapons on it as it stands. So I'm actually going to remove the power module at all. And just push a lot more weapons into this thing. First, we need our shields up to at least 10. And we have room for 7 more. Or some melee range... Uh, long range kinetics. It's interesting, though, to have it this way. This way, we would divide the space... But if we do this in melee and this in long range, if we do long range missiles, we get to 500. Yeah, then I will put five guns on it. You know, why the hell not? So this is the Dreadnought, purely offensive really. It has the point defense modules for uh, fighting off fighters and bombers. Tonnage, which will actually increase soon as well. So, hmm. 
need to research that as well. So we have finished a dreadnought type of vessel. Uh, what does it do? Hydrogen plus two science per person on lava. Yes, please. After that, build me a dreadnought class. And Delta. Oh, Delta, looking good. Um, colonizable last planet is. But I think for now, where is more expansion? Oh, hello, this one is good. Hydro sequencing, lots of good stuff coming in for that. Mizar, um, could definitely use some more money. Uh, oh, wait, where is Mizar? Is that one of our planets down here? Yeah, it is. That's a good one. Oh, it's the one being... Um, one, two, three, four. Ooh. That might go quite wrong, actually. You know what, Mizar? Um, what I need is something to counter the invasion. I think defense works the best for that. So if I just buy the impervious bunkers right now, that should just stop them from invading that fast. It should. I'm not sure if it will, but it should. One small, so endothermic is not that useful. You know what? Just get me some satellites. Finish movements. Wait, I didn't get explored fully the galaxy. That's interesting. Um... So there must be a planet we've missed. But where did we miss a planet? Normally it would say that you've explored everything. Yeah, that's the... Wait, what? Is that a Sofon planet over here? Holy crap, and they instantly occupied everything there. Wow. Insanity much? I don't see it, actually. Normally you get a pop-up saying, hey, dude, you've explored everything, which is cool and all. <sighs> Interesting. Well, I guess then because they are crappy anyway, we're going to disband them for some more money. Well, you would get money if you disbanded them at home, I guess, but that's not going to be the case right now. Let's see. End of turn in progress. Please wait. Uh, here we go. Ooh, we found the Temple of the Aura of Glory. Plus 40 happiness on Star System Voyager. Nice. While they do not admit it, certain endless colonies governed alien populations through the demagoguery, exploitation, propaganda, and good PR. Demagoguery, basically a demagogue, is a dictator. It's a fancy name for it. This religion was a cover for a group that gleaned information on the most effective methods of leading through subterfuge and guile. Or guile. 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 Yeah, it's guile. It has to be guile. Uh, let's see. Finish movements. Nine turns. Yes. Building that defense thing slowed down the invasion significantly. Especially enough to actually get someone in there. Redundant infrastructures. Plus 20% on... I like this. So, first we'll build that for even more signs, and then we'll build a Dreadnought after that. Um, Kataris, you... Ooh, you really need this thing to keep growing. Yeah. After that, you can also build a Dreadnought. Oh, it takes a while, though, so it might not do that. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so, yeah, it's fine. Next turn. Da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da End of turn in progress. Please wait. Tikal, wow, this, these guys are not that strong at all. Oh, Storm Libera goes up. Right, this guy with offense. Plus two movement on fleet, critical chance on kinetics, block, accuracy on weapons. Yep, more offense for now. Plus three percent damage per ship class on fleet. That's actually pretty good. What do we have here? Titanium for the United Empire. I'm not gonna do that. 
because I'm low on titanium. Personal fields, what did that do again? Expansion disapproval down, living habitats, ooh, nice. More space to build in this town. Um, plus seven warp gen on Empire is also pretty good. But what I need now is to go for this one. The, the bigger room on ships, which is actually generic supplies, definitely. So, solar mining, self-replicating structures, black hole mining. Getting close towards the end here as well, though, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what is this? Wow, just pure production. And, oh, not bad. Anyway, um, personal fields, yes. And Doria, you've built a intrepid class of vessel. You are still ecstatic as hell. Helium, methane, asteroids, and hydrogen. So basically gas giants as well as asteroids. You only have one gas giant, so it's only worth one person. Uh, that's not that many, but oh well. Um, okay, you know what? Just build me in an Adrenaut class. Rigel can grow a lot more now. 27 big is maximum this time. So that's a good thing. Let's see. Hang on, how much? Oh, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, you know what? Constitution, two of them. I need to start thinking about adding maybe some lower command point value ships with just a lot of guns, basically. Yeah, then again, that's... I don't want to go for a suicide tactic route, really, so... Oh, wow, they got some stuff. Well, hydro sequencing is good on any planet, so... A Voyager, of course, deep space. Ah, nice. Um... You go finance and moon survey. And then careful sweeping after that because to explore moons with these big planets. Oh, hell yes, that is so good. Finally, oh, that was all our ships. Ah, they finally enter Exeterbia. So two turns, then they get there finally, which is actually what we need. Good, good, good. Everything is going as planned. Turn ending. Here we go. <laughs> Turn ends take longer and longer. That's a thing. Um, target lock, beam damage, accuracy in medium range weapon. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Efficiency on shields, efficiency on deflectors. Uh, deflectors are the ones for um, the guns, the regular ones. The kinetics. Yes, especially this one. Smart cargo will be better. So let's first start taking out this flippin' fleet. 2,000 strength versus 3,500. Oh no, the pirates. Um... They almost always go for offense, but the question is, will they do that this time? So, let's think. We don't have that many kinetic. We have mostly missiles and other stuff. So, weapon damage, counters engineering, tactics. Then again, uh, the one they usually do, the offense, counters tactics. So, we cannot take tactics either. Hmm. Medium range is definitely something for the second round. Uh, efficiency on shields. What do we do? Good, good question. I have no idea actually. I'm. Hey, let's just sabotage them to start. And I want to do this manually, seeing what happens. Wow, their strength is a lot lower than it appeared just now. Oh well. Good. Let's see, battle at Mizar system. Here 
care of their ships. Uh, second one, I definitely want the uh, beam stuff. Target locked. Long range missiles, long range phase. We're probably going to take some damage because... Yes, this ship is taking quite some damage. We actually already destroyed one of their ships. Ooh, here's some more damage. Ooh, our galaxy is taking lots of damage. Four, two... Yes, we have lost one of our constitutions. Probably two missiles. Medium range beams. That should destroy their last ships, really. Oh, our fighters are going around there as well, which is cool. Victory at Mizar. Nice. Quite good. So, let's see. Oh, we have, we lost one ship. Two or three are damaged. Three more are good. So, yeah. Probably going to need more defense. Two levels up on uh, Storm, by the way. Um, critical chance on players connect and players missiles. Not bad. Plus 3% damage per ship class on fleet. I think we definitely want offense and veteran for now though. Just build up basic stats right now first. So that's a good thing. Here we go. Ooh, Shikara Vrysteel also got their level up. And what are we doing? Yes. Plus 10, plus 15, plus 20%. You know, just get wit. And more wit means more dust, more science. Always good. Uh, here we go. Buildings. Soul. Soul, soul, soul. Um, we are not that ecstatic anymore here. Oh, right. This guy still needs to level up, though. That's a thing, of course. Living habitats, hydrogen, helium, hydrogen, definitely this one then. Takes a while, but it's going to be good. Telar has a Dreadnought class vessel up and operational. For now, I think, is that, yeah, why not? Redundant infrastructures. And then impervious bunkers. Cordon can get more people because it's already filled up, so should might as well do that. Mizar gets satellites, still growing. They're content, they're not ecstatic. That's despite being so far up, they're not ecstatic yet. Um, no idea why, but that's fine. Well, this thing will actually be a lot of people as well. Plus two and plus one on small, that's not that good. This one is good. I think we... Ah, yes, of course. Just get some ran basic things like hydro sequencing up there. Um, Joran has actually gained that level we needed, so there we go. This should make Sol happy again. Sol is now 100% ecstatic. Still don't get why they're only content in Mizar, because they're so far away, maybe? No idea. Let's close up next turn. Come on, think faster. Uh, rice steel again. Nice. Ten food. Let's get you veteran one and see what we can get from that. Well, veteran one also gives plus one labor and wit, so that's fine as well. Which planet are you on again? Telar, so yeah, whopping 820 production per turn. You can still grow for quite some time as well, so holy crap. Um, you're going to Aquarius, because that's more central. And you can go defend here, and you can always move to Voyager or Mizar within one turn. You are 12 out of 16, so you're actually a perfect opportunity for adding either an intrepid or a dreadnought on 
right, we finished that building in Tellar because they have just ridiculous amounts of production. You know what, let's get the influence thing. Why not? Hmm. Let's see. Here we go, Empty Moon, that's sad. Falcon, Falcon, what can we do for you? Oh, you're already growing, you have one hydrogen, so... Actually, Living Habitats, might, even though it's minus six, it will pay for itself because of the amount of dust here. So that's a good thing. Plus four on hydrogen, and... Not on desert, but plus four per person. On a planet that will have five of them, that's pretty good. It's worth 20 science. Okay, advanced. Yes, we definitely want this one here as well. It's our second best production here, obviously. Living habitats will only affect that hydrogen planet, though. But it will, again, pay for itself, so why shouldn't we build it? I'm now holding off on building more ships until we can upgrade them all in bulk again. Uh, it does have lava. Oh, asteroids as well, so... I'll build the advanced optics lab. So this one also gives plus one because of that asteroid thing. There you go, next turn. Let's see how well this goes. Here we go, self-replicating structures. Six turns for black hole mining. Then we'll be very, very happy. Methane, just one, that's sad. Also no living habitats thing, that's very useful. Ah, too bad. Um, unlimited, yeah, I don't need it really, because we're already ecstatic like mad. Um, lava, yes, 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 advanced optics, really good. Let's buy out, that's just food. I think we can, again, definitely... Um, afford that one with the amount we still need to grow here and that will also be a sick planet system we have some really really good systems going around um don't know what you just finished but this is rigel right yeah rigel oh it's our only one at rigel so yeah you know what build me a dreadnought for now five turns that's good oh Wrong one. Need Bajor. Bajor, Bajor, Bajor. Not growing very fast, but they are growing, which is good. Um, yeah, we definitely could use some defenses here, because this is also a fringe system. So this community defense thing is good. Mm, Ariolo. Hydrogen planet. Plus one. Yeah, that's not that good. Um, on hydrogen though, yes, I will build the advanced optics lab. Ah, a point for uh, this guy. Wow, they're getting pretty good. 30% ability, cost reduction, more food. I think we might as well get this motivational leader thing going. Grow them even faster. Yeah, you know what? Go on defense. Here we go. Oh my. Talar, Talar. Ah, a few more turns, right? Four turns. So we need to keep them busy for four turns. Then we can just do stuff again. You know what? I'm just gonna make more money for those turns so we can upgrade everything. Oricol kicks for dust water. We have no spare Oricol kicks. And we have one dust water. Do we need four to get somewhere with it? So I'm sorry, I cannot take this deal. I don't want to lose my... Um, what's it called again? Strategic uh, abundance. Resource abundance on Oricalcix for no abundance on a uh, happiness resource. So yeah, too bad for you, but I'm not giving it up then. And Doria. Also dust it up. 
Delta. Ooh, nice. You finished that thing. The hydro sequencing. Where is it again? All right, that's Delta. So that's not Delta. This is Delta. Um, you know what? Just colonize the Arctic planet now. And don't we have the? Yes, endothermic structures can also be built there. Aquarius has wow is already filled up here on a small arid planet. Doesn't have any moons. Um, but yeah, let's just colonize the methane giant. Anyway. Here we go. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Uh, expansion has been going very well. We are working on getting some really, really nasty uh, <laughs> ships out there. I mean, I think, yeah. Oh, they're not building anything in Kataris or in Ryza. Maybe I forgot to build there for a while now. That's not good. Hmm. Dreadnought in seven turns at Ryza. That's not what I want. You know, go away, you. I think this one is good here because they can grow a lot bigger. Kataris also could... Oh, they already have that one. So, Kataris, you build a Dreadnought to add to my um, fleet that's around there. Kind of maybe forgot it, but... Eh, shit happens. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you guys later.